So welcome to Get Curry. This is the Bombay chef Varun Namdar, and what I bring to your kitchen today is butter chicken. Well, this is one of those gems that we end up ordering in a restaurant every time we place an order. Well, at least I do. So let's begin with this. Well, now there are two components to this recipe. One is the butter chicken, which is the chicken which we'll marinate, and the second one is the gravy. So first, let's begin with the chicken. I have some chunks of chicken here. I'm adding in a little bit of garlic paste, ginger paste. Red chili powder and salt. Give it a nice mix. Well, I'm going to marinate the chicken pieces for 15-20 minutes. Well, now that the chicken has been marinating for some time, now let's start pan frying. So I'm taking some oil. Now that the oil is medium hot, let's start frying these chicken pieces. Now that the chicken is almost done and ready, transfer this into another bowl. Well, my favorite. One, because it tastes wonderful. And second, because it is absolutely made in the same pot. It's one of those which can actually be made in the same pot. You remember the word one pot recipe? Of oil. And since it's butter chicken, we're going to add in a spoonful of butter. We're going to lightly sweat these onions. There we go. We're almost ready. Next goes in roughly cut tomatoes, and along with this, we're going to add in some cashew nuts. Once this is evenly mixed, I'm going to add in some water. Along with this, we're going to add in, and along with this, now goes in the corn paste. I'm going to evenly mix this. Now that this mixture is nicely ready, we're going to let this mixture simmer for at least 15 to 20 minutes till the time the entire thing becomes nice and mushy so that we can then run it into a mixer to a fine paste. Now that this mixture has become nice and soft, I'm going to turn the flame off and transfer this into another container. reheating this gravy and now is the time with the butter, cream, kasuri methi and the chicken. So first goes in the butter. Next goes in the chicken. Now finally goes in, now finally goes in the crushed methi. Now I'll let this gravy simmer for 5 to 7 minutes and here you 